All right, once again, good evening and welcome right here to the Market Outlook and Stocks to Watch. Today, 11 April, Wednesday. Today, the topic is about how to pick winning stocks in a bear market. Hey, once again, everybody, as on Constantine right here and on the show today as well, we have our mentor, Mr. Fred Sam. How are you, Mr. Hi, Fred? Hi, everybody. <laughs> welcome. Okay, so for those who are just joining us right here, First of all, before we get started right here, we want to check whether you can hear us, whether you can see us right now. If yes, go ahead, type on the chat box there. Tell us where are you listening us right now. So hi, we have Ruben Lim. Hi all, Ruben Lim here. How are you, brother Ruben? We have a uh, brother, Mama Sharif, say good evening. And I just say hi. So first of all, we want to check whether you guys can hear uh, our voice. If yes, go ahead there and type on the chat box, say yes, so that we can know. All right, let me have a look. Jakey say hello. How KC? Yes, from Seoul, Korea. Oh, our brother How KC is from Seoul, Korea. So once again, everybody, welcome right here to the Market Outlook and Stocks to Watch. Today is a, uh, this is the most watched series, the free live webinar for all the stock market investor and trader in Bursa, Malaysia. All right, today we are excited actually to see what exactly happened on Mr. Fred comment today about the market. But before we get started right here, we have a few announcements for us to make for you. Okay, so we have a few announcements right here. Before we get started our show tonight, number one right here, we want to share with you that uh, we have a F1 Turtle Stocks Trading Workshop. It's going to happen three days in where? Sunway Hotel. So all those who are staying in Penang or Perak, you can join uh, the three days course, 21st until 23rd April. 2018. For more info, the number that you need to call 013-262-1218. There's about seven things that you will learn right here on the three days course. So don't miss out to join the three days course. So grab your seat right now. Now, the next announcement right here that we like to make, for those who stay in Johor Bahru, we have a good news for you. We will visit Johor for the Malaysia Watch Show Stock Market with Fred Sam is going to happen at the Grand Paragon Hotel Johor Bahru and the date is going to be 28th of April Saturday and the time is 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. so there's going to be a four hours workshop for both for those who want to have more info we'll be sending you the link right here as well on the website and also at the Facebook shortly all right the next one right here we would like to make another announcement right here uh, for those who stay in Malacca, we have a good news for you. Malaysia Roadshow as well will be continue in Malacca. So it's good. The location is going to happen at Swan Hotel, Malacca. The date is a 5th May. Saturday is another few more days before the general election. We are going to be in Malacca. Swan Hotel, the time 9 a.m. until 1 p.m., four hours workshop as well. We're going to be there to empower you. What is the stocks that we're going to watch? And we're going to teach you how to become a great trader. So the number that you need to call zero one three two six two one two one eight, or go ahead and click back the website right here. We'll send you the link uh, shortly right here. Or also, it's going to be happen on Facebook uh, shortly. We're going to update in our status. All right. The next announcement right here uh, for those who stay tuned with us tonight until the end of the show. For those who are joining us tonight, we have a special announcement for you. For those who join towards the end, we are going to give you a free ebook that worth 49 ringgit and 90 cents. The ebook is Learn Three Ideas on How to Reap Huge Profit in Stock Market by Fred Tang. So you don't want to miss it. If you want to know how to get this ebook, stay tuned with us until the end of the show. We will show you exactly on how you can get this ebook. All right. So before we get started right here, I would like to do a quick recap about our Bursa Malaysia. Today, 11 April 2018, the gainers is 736 counters is up. Meanwhile, the losers counter is only 322. Today, turnover is very interesting. 3.19 billion with KLCI up 8.91. Today, the market breadth is positive. So today, we're going to talk more about this a topic today. Now, the question is right now, how to pick a winning stocks in the bear market. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please once again, welcome right here, Mr. Fred Sam. Hello. Hello everybody. I'm Fred. And my topic today is 
how to pick winning stocks in a bear market. Now, the question is, Mr. Fred, before we get started right here, are we in a bear market right now? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. In fact, I like to have a show of hands, or where you, or my readers, would you like to type and let us know whether we are still in a bear market or we have actually got out of a bear market and been bullish? How many of you here are still bearish about the market? If you like to type on the chat box, mm -hmm. let us know. I like to have a survey here, All right. see whether how many of you are still bearish. <laughs> how many of you here just saw the market moving up and did nothing? Okay. Uh, on the other hand, how many of you here already participated in it, mm -hmm. the market, and actually you are making money? So are you still bearish or bullish on our market? Let's see, we got Vin some opinion right here. So Vin, Vin Vin Kasum say bearish, Ronald stay still bearish, Shelly say bear, Chai say two at bear market. Some of you say, Cindy say bullish. Yeah. All right, Cat say reversal, all right. So we got, we got Cindy say bullish, but Harry Quay say not really bearish, not but really manipulation. Bearish. Okay, <laughs> manipulation. Okay, some say uh, bearish, some say bullish. If you ask me, my opinion is that some stocks are bearish. In fact, many stocks have been bearish and they have been bearish since three months ago. To be precise, since 30th of January, our market has really been sold out and the funds have left us. Now, how do we chartists define a bear market? One of the ways to define bear market is the 20% rule. If your stock has moved down 20% from the high, then it is considered a bear market. So that is one yardstick okay, for you to determine whether we are in a bull or bear market. Now, let me just say this, uh, that the small cap index, do you want to know how many percent it has dropped since the high? Mm -hmm. The small cap index has dropped more than 20% mm -hmm. from the high. To be exact, it is 23.9% mm -hmm. from the high. So technically, the small caps are in a bear market. So those of you who answered that we are in a bear market is correct. Mm -hmm. It's correct until two days ago, until 6th of April, that means three days ago, last Friday and last and this Monday and this Tuesday, the trend is now changing, but until then, you are correct. And the other index which reflects small caps is the mid and the small cap index, M-I-D-S mm -hmm. index. That index, okay, which is basically comprised of 100 medium and the small cap stocks huh? that is of less than over 1 billion or below that index lost 22.9 percent so which is above 20 percent so in other words yes the small caps have been and still are in a bear market and so if you list that you are in a bear you are correct but then those who say that you are, we are in a bull market is not wrong either. There are some stocks that are in a bull market mm -hmm. up to now. Since January, they have never been in a bear market. What are these stocks? These are KLCI index link stocks. Right. Did you know that the KLCI only dropped 1.39% <laughs> compared to its high? So it is not in a bear market so we need to differentiate and what are the stocks that kept the index the ci up they are maybank mm -hmm. maybank never dropped at all in fact maybank made uh, about seven percent mm -hmm. okay seven percent since uh, the high and public bank also didn't drop in fact it went up and so several blue chips Okay, they are traded higher or equal, and that's why they are never in a bear market. So we need to therefore define whether you are in a small cap or you are in the blue chip. If you are in a small cap, you are in a downtrend or a bear market. So tonight, my objective, uh, one of them, is to help us to define whether your stock is 
in the bull market or your stock is in the bear market. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the topics that I would like to discuss today. And that is to define whether your stock are in a bull market or uptrend or in a bear market or downtrend. Now understand that you can only make money if your stocks are in an uptrend. If your stocks are in a downtrend, you cannot make money. And so your, the small cap index might be going down and down and down. But if your small cap stocks can go against the downtrend, that means going up, you still can make money mm -hmm. in a downtrend of the small cap index if you have a small cap stocks that is uptrend. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the secret of making money in our stock market is how to pick winning stocks mm -hmm. in a bear market, in a downtrend. So to do that, you need to understand the definition of downtrend and uptrend, which I shall be sharing with you, right? And let me just repeat, the secret of making money in our market is that your stock that you are buying regardless of whether it is index stock or small cap stock, must be in an uptrend. Then only you can make money because you can't make money if the market is or the stock is going down, can you? You buy already and uh, your stock drop further down, how can you make money from a downtrend? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, some of you might say, ah, next week they're going to start RSS, regulated short selling. Mm. Yep. Then from then on, we can short the market to make money, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you ask my opinion, you also cannot make money by shorting our market or mm -hmm. stock. You know why? A very simple reason. You only got one day to cover your shorts. One day is not enough for the market to work in your favor, you understand? And so you will just got to cover your shots, buy back your shots at the end of the day and all day, big insider traders that need to do is just push it a little bit higher and you end up with a loss. So for our Malaysian stocks, you can only make money in an uptrend. So I'll define uh, what is an uptrend and downtrend. And number two, I'm going to uh, then use that principle of uptrend and downtrend to review the KLSE, that will be the second item that I want to talk tonight, mm -hmm. is to review the KLSE. We look at the KLSE, the index, KLCI, and the small cap index, and the mid cap index, and technology index, and age index. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we, we can then interpret it, analyze it, and interpret whether or not they are in up or down trend. Mm -hmm. And that is for the last quarter. Now we are in the next quarter now. I like to uh, do some projections as to what is the outlook for the next quarter, second yeah. quarter. Mm -hmm. The third item that I like to talk about is the impact yes. of the general elections yeah. on our stocks. Very I think this one is a very interesting topic yes. because we are actually uh, 14 days okay, uh, to go polling day. And so uh, during this time period, is there a pre-election rally? Mm. In fact, today and yesterday, and even Friday, there are already signal mm -hmm. to us who are trading these three days that there will be a pre-election rally. Mm -hmm. Get those of you who are aggressive enough to buy into these three days now are smiling already. Okay, so as a sweetener, I think you already know my view for whether there is a pre-election rally. Whether it can be sustained or not is another question. Yeah. And then what about the post-election uh, rally? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to discuss about that by giving you some statistics as to past elections, pre and post. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the third item. And lastly, uh, we will go through some winning stocks that we pick, even in spite of the uncertain trend. Mm -hmm. I won't say down anymore because the market has rebounded since three days ago. But how are you going to spot these bottom-out signals? Mm -hmm. 
The Japanese candlestick has got a technique for that, mm -hmm. and it's called eight to ten new price lows. Very interesting. And uh, we're going to share with you uh, immediately after this. So let's start mm -hmm. with item number one. Now, the secret of making money in our market is only one way, and that is to buy a stock that is in trading in an uptrend. On the right hand side, you can only make money if your stock is uptrending. Mm -hmm. Then the next question you're going to ask me is, how do you define an uptrend? What do you mean by uptrending? I will answer that question. Now, you cannot make money in Malaysian stock if the stock is going on a downtrend, which is on the left. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the best you could do is stay out of your stock. And lastly, you cannot make money if it is sideways trend. So there's only one way that you can make money and that is uptrend. So let's define trend. Basically, trend is nothing more than the direction of the market, where it's heading. Trend has three directions. Either the trend, the market go up, down, or sideways, or your stock goes up, down, or sideways. If it is up and you bought, you make money. If you, have, you bought and it come down, you lose money. Sideways, you don't make or lose money. So let's define an uptrend. So an uptrend or a bull market mm -hmm. is defined as a series of higher highs and higher lows. In other words, higher peaks, H2 higher than H1, and higher troughs. Troughs means the values. That means higher L2 is higher than L1. In which case, you have an uptrend. And the way to draw a trend line is to connect low to low. L1 connect to L2. And as long as this trend line remains intact, your stock is in an uptrend. So our objective as a trader is to find stocks that are in this pattern, making higher, higher, higher low. Now, obviously, if we flip through 1,000 lower charts every night and looking for high and low, it will take you seven hours to complete the task. <laughs> and so what we did at that yep. is to computerize the whole thing. And now, thanks to technology, we have softwares that are able to, with algorithms, computer inside key in, to scan through 1,000 stocks and tell us which stocks are in an uptrend within a minute. Yeah. And afterwards, we have already got a list of scan through stocks that are in an uptrend for you to take home for tomorrow. <laughs> Even on an intraday basis, our software can do any scanning or filtering so that you can know right away that instant which stocks are going up. For example, 10 o'clock or 4.30, you want to know which stocks are likely to have hit a buy signal are in an uptrend, you just got to use that software to do it. And that is the share investor station. All right, coming back to this definition of uptrend. So you like to buy stocks in an uptrend. Now, example of an uptrend, a stock in an uptrend is dialogue. Notice here that see the highs are getting higher. H1 is higher than H2, then H3, H4, all the way up. And the lows are getting higher. So you can see that uh, this stock is in an uptrend. Up to today, it is still up. Okay. And now here is where we use our software to trigger by instead of looking at it with an eye, okay, onto the graph paper and telling where the high and low is. That takes a lot of amount of manual and time and so we resort to softwares and all you need is to look for three arrows and if there are three arrows pointing up arrow up arrow up arrow up there is enough arrow onto the chart okay and then there's another two down arrows as long as there are three arrows pointing up that stock is in an uptrend and you like to hold on to that stock so obviously if Suddenly, there are three arrows pointing down. That means that stock is already in a downtrend. You like to sell off. Mm -hmm. So to make so things so simple, even for the everyday uh, retailer, the new investor, newbie, all you need to do is to look for the three arrows pointing up. Now, let's define a downtrend. A downtrend is the opposite of an uptrend. A downtrend or a bear market mm -hmm. is defined as a series of declining or lower peaks and lower troughs. For example, H2 is lower than H1, and L2 is lower than L1. When you've got two consecutive lower lows and lower high, that stock is in a downtrend, and you connect uh, H1 to H2. 
And when a stock is in a downtrend, the best is stay away from it. Sell it off, cut the losses if you have to, and stay off. Because there's no way that you can make money in a downtrend. Now, for what if you shorted using RSS, regulated short selling? Well, you go only one day. Mm -hmm. One day, how far down can the stock move for you to make sufficient money? So that is something for you to consider. Huh? Uh, if you are a fast trader, you are a professional, by all means, you can use RSS. Mm -hmm. But if you are a newbie, please do be careful okay, and consider what I've just said. And then liquidity is another problem that you might face. But here is an example of a stock in a downtrend and the maple. You notice the highs are getting lower and the lows are getting lower. So you can see that there's a waterfall effect now in this stock. And the best you can do, like I say, is to sell off and stay aside. Now, we have our software that can help you there. And that software is the share master station. So you need to see three arrows down. And the first time you see three arrows okay, aligning in the down direction, you exit your trade. And that will be on the 24th of November last year at $1.12. So imagine how far down Maple went. It went to 46 cents. That was a couple of days ago. And today it bounced to 51 and a half cents. And so it is off the lows right now. And we are waiting for an uptrend before we go into Mako. And Mako is fundamentally a very good stock. Dividend yield wise is a good stock. But technical wise, it's not ready yet. So we wait until there is a technical buy to enter the stock. Mm -hmm. So this example of a downtrend and uh, three arrows is all you need to look at. Okay. And to give you a first sell. After that, all the other arrows, you see, there is no up arrows, you don't buy. And so that's the downtrend. And imagine how much it can save you by selling off early. It saved you 46 cents or 58 percent by selling off at one one two one dollar and twelve cents rather than 46 cents. And lastly, sideways trend. Sideways trend is basically just moving nowhere where the highs are of equal height and the lows are of equal height. And you don't like to be in a, this kind of stock. You know why? Because you cannot make money when a stock is moving sideways. The only trouble is it can go sideways for years and you will have your money stuck inside. So what we do as uh, traders is we want to buy a stock in an uptrend. And I repeat to do that, you can use manual by using your eye and a piece of paper and uh, tell where the highs and lows are. You need seven hours or you can do it via a software which we're going to demonstrate to you after this now sideways example is in gen m right then then it's going nowhere and you like to stay out of the store until today gen m is here like that now let's now apply this what you've just learned to the klc ci and also to the other sub indexes yeah so let's look at the klci Let's analyze it from two years ago until today. Now, based on what you have learned just now regarding the highs and the lows, can you all tell me whether or not in 2016, our CI, this is Kuala Lumpur Composite Index, is going up or down or sideways? Now, I'll draw you an arrow, this stretch, the dotted lines. <laughs> if you could just key in, <laughs> Type on the chat box, guys. And yeah. Type on the chat box. Can you tell us that where this dotted line is heading? H1 is higher, lower than H0. Mm -hmm. uh, L1 is lower than L0. Technically, that would be a downtrend. Down yes. Huh? Downtrend down trend is correct. Yes. Right. So <clears throat> let's now move on to 2017. Mm. 2017, BCI went back up. And H3 is higher than H2, H4 is higher than H3, and so on. Mm -hmm. And the lows are also getting higher. L3 is lower than L4 is lower than L5. Mm -hmm. And so we have got a, mm -hmm. what trend have we got here? The dotted lines pointing up. Let me see what they can comment here. Okay, let's see first. Okay, who can see here? What do you see right here is... Standard by Mr. Friend. Yeah, Kuldeep Singh say our friend. Say is Peter our friend. Say that is correct. correct. The Kuldeep 
Thank you for that for participating. <laughs> now the second half of mm -hmm. 2017, can you see that the highs are getting lower? Now H9 is lower than H8, is lower than H7. So are we in a? So the arrows already told you we are in a downtrend, mm -hmm. right? Now what about this year? 2018. Mm. Can you see where our index is heading with the H13 about the same height as H12 and 11, but H11 is higher than H10 and L13 is higher than L12, L11. Mm. What trend do we have here? Yeah. Sharif say uptrend. We have an uptrend. I'll say uptrend. Yeah. Now, correct. <laughs> this is as simple as you can get to telling us traders where the index is heading. This is the index CI. Eh? This only related to if you are holding or buying index link stocks. This is not a typical applicable if you are holding a small cap stock because the small cap and mid cap stocks is not reflected by this index. It's mm. reflected by the mid and the small cap MDS index or a small cap index or the ACE index or the fledgling index. Those are the indexes that reflect those small caps. Yeah? We're talking about CI. Mm -hmm. And so, the blue chip. <laughs> yes, you already answered it. We are in an uptrend. Insofar as the CI is concerned, right? So where's my forecast? So my KLCI forecast mm -hmm. is as follows. Now we are up to here. Okay, based on today's close, it is 1869.89. Yesterday was 1860. Yeah, this is yesterday. Sorry, yeah, it's on the 10th. Yeah? And so today it went up to 1869. And our forecast is that based on our software, the buy signal triggered was on the 13th of December last year at 1737. Can you see the three arrows pointing up? Arrow up, arrow up, arrow up. And since then, we have no three arrows down. We have got one arrow down, two arrows down, but the third arrow didn't happen. So in other words, the CI is still up. Even though your individual stocks have been dropping since January the 30th, some January the 9th, it was a real bad time until three days ago that our small caps actually have been under tremendous selling pressure. That, that's why even with this three-day rebound, you are not certain, you are not confident to even go back into the market right? because you already have witnessed or experienced that selling since the beginning of January. But now things could be different. And I would like to explain to you all later why I say it's different. Now, based on the CI outlook, the projection okay, is telling me that the next target is 1920 for a start. Okay? Now, we are not very much into projections, but we still need to give you a target okay? because we are trend followers more than trend predictors. Now, as a trend follower, if the index is above 50 moving average, 100 moving average, 200 moving average, that means the index is strong and which is the case. But a simple Fibonacci calculation of the next target will be 1920. So in short, our outlook for the CI is bullish. Now, what about the small caps? Mm. Before we go to that small cap index, let's, let's remember that the CI is about 30 stocks. But not all 30 stocks went up. Only a few selected stocks. Uh, these are the market caps of all the 30 stocks. These are some of the 30 stocks. But the top market cap belongs to the top Maybank, Public Bank, Tanaga, PCAM, and CMB. Now, all the funds need to do is to go in and buy these five indices. Okay, and the five top index stocks makes up about 38% of the market cap. And so all the funds need to do is to buy Maybank, buy Public Bank, buy Tenaga, buy PCAM, and buy CIMB. And that would float the index. So now you can see why you may have some shares that are right down there that are losing money on the CI stocks. 
but the index is still higher. So you don't look at the index to even play your index stocks. You look at your index stocks to play your stock. And they could be different from the index. For example, Genting. For example, Genting Malaysia. They are all going down here. For example, RHP Bank. They are down. And Sun just recently got back up and Bank is down. So here's an example of you've got an index link stock, but that is traveling in a different direction than the CI itself because the CI can be supported by a mere five stocks that are the highest in market cap. Mm -hmm. So I think you get my point here, right? So now let's move on a little bit. Now here is Maybank mm -hmm. and you know why the index is steady because Maybank is the highest market cap in the 30 stocks and it is being supported. So Maybank is strong. There's no problem about holding Maybank. Mm -hmm. I know some of uh, you, the members are holding Maybank C38, but the warrant is weak. So do not touch a warrant in a bear market, but go for the mother Maybank is okay. The second stock is public bank. As you can see in this chart example, public bank is rallying. So we also cannot say that our stocks are all down, that we are in a bear market. So we are not just every stock is all up or either all down. There are some shades of gray here and there. The other stock that is steady is Tanaga. This is the third highest market cap stock and they are being supported. But other than that, look at DG. They are not being supported. And that's why it came down. And look at Gen M, Gen King Malaysia, it is down. So I think you get the point. And so you must be, you must look at your stock to play your stock and not the CI chart to play your stock. Mm -hmm. All right, on the other hand, now some of you here said that it's a bear market and some say it's been manipulated, yeah? <laughs> now, we assure you, those of you who say you're bearish, you're not wrong because many, many lower liners are being sold out. Right? And how do we know? We got to look at the right index and they are the small cap index, mid and small cap index, ACE, technology and fledgling. Just look at a couple of them. So let's start with the small cap index. Now, our outlook for this index is that it is still bearish, but it's now so oversold that you are seeing now a technical rebound. Mm. So what you're seeing these three days, so far, we can only say that it is a technical rebound, but better to have a technical rebound than not at all, right? Mm -hmm. So it is a good start. Now, this technical rebound could continue, could continue, mm. and it then gets stronger, possibly as the day towards the polling is nearer. Mm. Okay, and after polling day, could continue to rally. That's a possibility. You cannot say no. Mm -hmm. Or some of you might say that polling, the election now is so uncertain that mm -hmm. this time around, you can never be too sure who is going to win. Well, if let's say there is uncertainty at any point in time between now and election or after, the charts will show. Mm. And that's the beauty about charts is that we follow the charts and at any one time the chart change, we will change. But up to today, already three days after the dissolution of parliament, we are still able to see a strong recovery, sustained in the small cap and that's the good news so those mm. of you who are invested in small cap stocks right. for now there is no worry after we pull out some of the stocks yep. and we've been calling a buy since friday mm -hmm. with a bullish harami yeah. and uh, today i like to show that off some bullish harami patterns as well as the mm -hmm. eight to ten years uh, uh, new low mm -hmm. so coming back to the small cap index now look at this why we say it's bearish? Number one, it is below the 50, 100 and the 200 moving averages. And that means that the index is bearish. Sellers are selling. And when did they start selling this? 
Now you see from the highs and the lows, okay, the H9 is higher than H10, higher than H11, higher than H12. So you can see the highs are going down. You can see the lows are going down. And that is a downtrend. So it is very clear cut huh, that the index is not behaving like the NCI. The small cap index is not being supported at all. Mm -hmm. Since when? Since 31st, 30th of January. How do I know? I'm going to show you this. This is the 30th of January. You see this arrow cell? Arrow down, arrow down. Arrow down, arrow down, arrow down. Since here, 30th of January. Okay? It's over here, actually. All right? There are two periods where it was sold down three times. One is here in the end of December. One is here on the January 30th and then on the February. So it's been sold down. And what we saw these three days is a rebound, a strong rebound coming from a dissolution of parliament. I never expected that. We thought that we are going to be continue to bury. It yep. is still bearish. Mm -hmm. It is still bearish. But there is a rebound. <laughs> and until today, of course, you can turn back around, but until today, it's sustaining. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news, right? Now, um, so in other words, we can, act, let's see whether or not there will be more rebounds, okay? And then uh, whether it can be sustained. If can, then this rebound can then turn into a new trend, new trend. So let's look at the 50 moving average for it to cross and then the 100 and 200. For mm -hmm. now, the candlestick, Japanese candlestick reversal pattern has already told us that there is a bullish Rami confirmation and that is a, a bottoming up signal. So there's a small cap index and uh, the target is one is to one is hit already, one is to 1.6 is nearly hit. So it may still come down to touch, to test the 13,220, which is the 1.618. But let's see. For now, the direction is up. So this is the small cap index. What about the next one? The, now the monthly force. This is a monthly chart of the small cap. Just is to show you that the month of March, which is last month, was the most drastic fall in the small cap index since 2015. In other words, if you were trading the market, you never experienced so bad. The last time you experienced it was, was August 2015. That's three years ago, no? Nearly three years ago. So that's how bad it was. But look at April. We saw a long doji. It fell at the beginning of April, but it you turn back up. So there is some hope that you have a bottoming out signal this April month. So mm -hmm. far, right? So far. So that's the good news. That's the fifth. The, the way we measure the downtrend, we use a Fibonacci way of calculating where if the, the drop is AB, which is one axa, then the extension, how far down is going to go, there are three targets that you can, you can, you can, you can use. And one is 0.618 of one, and that's the first target, downside target. The second target is one is to one, it can go right down to one to one. It can even go down to 1.618 to 1. So, wow. Okay. So, first of all, we almost sing today, right now, almost 400 people oh. is joining us. So, once again, everybody, for those who just joining us, today is the market outlook and stocks to watch. Once again, welcome, guys, for those who just uh, joining us right now. I think Mr. Fred also would like to welcome them. It's almost 400 people yes. actually. For those of you watching us, oh, fact, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us right. uh, tonight. It, has, it is indeed a pleasure to uh, see so many of you mm. uh, in spite of a very bearish market. Mm -hmm. right? uh, actually, this is the, the right time uh, to look at the, how we chartists look at the market mm -hmm. and we like to share this with you uh, right away. Yep. Yeah? So uh, do sit back and relax a bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go a little bit faster uh, uh, to cover the rest of the topics. Now, uh, right now we are analyzing the, the, the small caps market. And uh, the small cap index is used to do that. And there is one index called MID, which is mid cap, and S means small cap. This MIDS index, uh, um, 
actually comprise of 100 stocks which the Security Commission and the Bursa Malaysia mm -hmm. actually have designed. Okay, for brokers, 22 brokers to cover these index stocks from a fundamental angle mm -hmm. so that they uh, can be, um, uh, they, 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 uh, the more fund managers can get to know of the um, be publicized uh, about his, uh, 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 what they do and so that there could be more interest in these stocks. So that is what the mid cap and small cap index is supposed to do. But notice that these are fundamentally strong companies. And yet, look at where they went. It was never that bad. Even just the launching of the, uh, this index was last year, okay, in May, but right now it has actually dropped to an all time low. And that is how bad our small cap and the mid cap stocks are. And these, like I said, are fundamentally strong stocks. So uh, it's not a good sign. And and why it is rebounding right now, perhaps it's uh, the, the the market is signaling that the, the, uh, the election is round the corner and there could be finally some light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> whichever side, okay, uh, is going to govern uh, our country, okay, um, they are looking forward to a new beginning. And uh, so perhaps that is why there is some activity these three days and maybe even uh, until the election polling day and the after uh, after polling day hopefully we have some uh, a continuation of funds going back in the market but you are seeing these three days funds going back into the market to support small cap and mid cap stocks that are fundamentally strong mm -hmm. okay and so that's a good sign that's a good sign these are not small cap stocks that are in the PN4 or PN something, no. These are very good, uh, fundamentally strong stocks. And uh, we like these kind of signals that is uh, coming in by, uh, by the market participants. So <clears throat> now there was a sell signal, as I say, since the 30th of January, a lot of funds and maybe the owner of the companies uh, have been selling their stocks. It has to be, otherwise it won't go down. So it has gone down since the 30th of Jan until today. But the last three days, you see some very strong buying up. That's a good sign. So if you are holding on to these stocks, we suggest that there is no sell signal, don't sell. There wasn't a buy signal, but there was a bottoming out signal in the form of a Japanese candlestick pattern. So we'll go to that later. So right now, although they are below the 50 to the 200 days, but they are too far from it. And so now there is a rebound. And we are witnessing that rebound. And that is the target, uh, uh, downside target, which nearly hit a rail. So it is rebounding right now. And this, <clears throat> now this is the mid and small cap index. Okay? In March, it was its worst. But look at February. Mm. It actually fell very badly, but bounded rebounded back up uh, to form a doji that's a very good sign yep. of uh, the fund supporting it and by the way so those of you who want to know what are the mid cap small cap stocks mm -hmm. you could take a picture of this okay these are all the 100 stocks that make up the mid and small cap so you can see that they are fundamentally strong companies ajinomoto mm -hmm. atlan right <clears throat> ken one ccm and these are good companies, Chintec, mm -hmm. right, and Petron. So they are only World Group. So OWG. So these are good, good companies. <clears throat> and uh, they rise the fastest in the rebound. So that's why we just want to share with all of you, oh, yeah. uh, especially for those who are TED members, who, those who inside the TED member or those who subscribe the TAD system, you will be informed the earliest one when it starts to rebound. When these stocks right here turn into bullish, you will be the first uh, to notify. So once again, congratulations for those who already are TED member. We will notify you once these stocks start to turn uh, into bullish. Go ahead. Mr. And when the stocks start to turn, mm -hmm. our SI station, uh, our TAD signals will show it. Mm -hmm. And if you are a TED member, you do a post in our Telegram or give us a tinkle. Yeah. And uh, we will analyze that stock and we give you the answer. Mm -hmm. And by the way, so we have a daily newsletter mm -hmm. that updates all our members um, on what are the stocks that are 
basically having been an uptrend mm -hmm. and one of the stocks that are in a downtrend. Okay, so here is another index, ACE index, uh, which are basically um, um, uh, formerly Nasdaq company. So this basically reflects all the small cap stocks. So they are in the same direction and the same pattern as that of small cap. So I'll just jump over this slide, yeah, because it tells the same thing. And that is, there was a lot of selling already from the third, 29th, 30th of January. And that was a time when the funds have been selling down. But look, the way it is bouncing back up, it is telling us that the funds are buying back what they sold. We are seeing something different, perhaps, these three days. Okay? And that's why these three days are important and very interesting days. Right? Yep. Now, this is the ACE index, and uh, let's move on. The ACE index has got a monthly chart as well. Mm. Again, just like the other uh, the, the index charts, a uh, monthly chart, mm -hmm. 2015 is the worst, and this one is uh, just uh, the one before it. So, um, but then this month, there is a nice hammer pattern here yes. that tells you about reversal. Mm. All right. And the technology as well is the same thing. You can see the flow is been going down, but look at the rebound these three days. Beautiful. These three days rebound is so strong, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there must be something about this rebound. Eh? Mm -hmm. No funds will put their money and push the stocks exactly. so far up if there is nothing uh, underneath. Okay, no fundamentals behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it could be the dissolution of uh, parliament, but then again, uh, this is good news because. A lot of people see the dissolution of parliament as uncertainty. Mm. But uh, the fact that it rebound all three days is telling us that the dissolution of parliament is having a positive effect on stocks. Yep. Perhaps the investor is saying, look, mm. this is already a long overdue. Let's get this over with and let's do business. Because as long as this election is over, businesses cannot plan ahead. What yep. they want to do, yes. and um, they dare not invest, okay, in whatever they want to invest. Mm -hmm. So where is the growth? Mm -hmm. And so we might as well have a very quick election, mm -hmm. and let's get away in the next chapter, <laughs> okay, so that everybody can do business. <laughs> Lao Leon say, but there's no tree buying arrows yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, with uh, Lao yeah. Leon, it depends uh, on which stock you're looking at. I'll tell you what stock has got the three arrows. Shortly, we tell you. Amada got, and a few more. I'll tell you now. Let us share. Please stay with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll share with you what are the stocks with the three arrows. Mm -hmm. All right. So technology stocks they are bearish, but oversold. Many of these are oversold, yep. and uh, so it's just rebounding. Okay. So very quickly, my summary is that in view of the oversold situation in small cap, mid cap technology and A stocks, mm -hmm. there are some buying opportunities. Mm -hmm. There are many oversold stocks with the buy on dip and a buy on breakout, BOB and a BOD. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, later on in our stocks to watch at the end of this presentation, we'll be giving you some of these oversold stocks mm -hmm. with arrow up, three yeah. arrows up, right? And no problem. Yes, and, and again, for those who just join us right here today, uh, we also have a special announcement towards the end of this program. We have a free ebook. To give away for all those who join us tonight we're going to give away the ebooks later on it's worth 49 ringgit and 90 uh, 90 cents so stay tuned with us until the end of the show all right so go ahead mr friend let's go to the item number three mm. and this is more interesting yes what is the impact of the general election on our stocks so uh, what i did was uh, i divided okay our data into pre-election mm -hmm. and post-election mm -hmm. uh we did a study yep. of 30 days before the election and 30 days after the election mm. to find out if there is a a rally or a decline 30 days before the election and to find out whether there is a rally or a decline 30 days post after election. the election all right and we did this from i think the 1986 uh, uh election so we have, I think we're covering about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elections so far. Mm. Let's start from the left. The left is the 1986 election. And the blue bar shows pre-election. Okay, whether there's a rally or there is a decline. The pink bar shows 
after election, 30 days after. So as you can see, let's take the 1986 election where Dr. Mahathir won the election. Okay, can you see that it is above zero, zero to 20 percent? So there is or there was a pre election rally as well as a post election rally. Okay, that's 1986. Four years later, 1990, okay, Mahdi led another election, but this time there is no pre election rally, but there is a post election rally. Why there is no pre election rally? Maybe it be due to uncertainty, but then once he won, all right, and the Barisan National is back into the pole position to lead the government, so there was a rally, but it's a small one. In 1980, 1995, again, Dr. Mahathir won. Mm. But this time, the sentiment is better. There was a pre and a post. In 1999, let me just okay, show some arrows. There was no pre, but there was a post. Okay, When Dr. Mahathir won, there was a post election rally. Then the next one election is where Kakla led the government. No longer Dr. Mahadev. And guess what? There was a pre election rally, but no post election rally. There was a post election decline. Mm -hmm. And the next election, there was no pre election, and neither was there any post election. No pre and no post. Why is it so? I'm not very sure. Right? Maybe because. Uh, the investors are not so convinced not uh, that uh, you know uh, that uh, he is the elected leader, perhaps, mm -hmm. and uh, the policies of the government is not so conducive for business, and so uh, there was a sell-off. And it happened also that year 2008 is the whole world global market ah, as well. As well, yeah. there was a subprime crisis, mm -hmm. yeah. So that could affect, could affect uh, yeah, have affected mm -hmm. uh, the post. But in 2013, Dr. Najib Razak stood for election on behalf of the government, okay, the ruling party, and he won. And 2013, there was a pre and there was a post. Now I would like to put this in front of you, and you let me know. Can you type on the chat box whether or not this election, there is going to be a pre-election rally and whether there will be a post-election rally. <laughs> Share your view right here on the chat box. So do you think it's going to have a pre-rally and post-rally uh, for this 2018 uh, general election uh, 14? So just type there on the chat box if you think there's yes or you think there's no. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and type in the chat trend, box. Any trend or not? Jonathan say yes. Chia say yes. Okay, let's see who else right here. Jason say yes. So. Shed Chakarin say yes. So most of them say right here, yes. Yes, there's a pre mm -hmm. and yes, there's a post. So you put yes, comma, yes. Okay, <laughs> or no, comma, yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. First, if you say yes, post then, yes. Uh, some of them post say yes after the election. Some of them say Ruben Lane say uh, Bob is going to rallies. Charlie say uh, both pre and pro. Wow, okay. So I'm seeing pre and post. Uh, parents say post is very uncertain but right. uh, pre pre election yes uh mr tenglum say Ting Lam, yes yes mr. Lau Ting Lam, <laughs> you're here with us yeah. yes, and you say yes yes <laughs> so very interesting okay I, very interesting I, yeah. I i thank you for your response Wonderful okay, feedback. Okay, yeah. your feedback uh most of you surprisingly said yes yes <laughs> all right uh you feel that uh, that is well post that is is not so surprising because right now we are already experiencing three days all three days yes. out of three our rally so uh it's it very good mm -hmm. yes so it is uh we can take it that uh, for the rest of the next week we should be seeing some some more of this rally going on yeah um so that, that's a pre-election rally so far and um, the post election, all right, is some of you said uncertain. I suppose it depends on who wins. Mm -hmm. Okay, whether Dr. Mahadev wins or Dado Najib wins. Mm -hmm. 
But let me let me just give you my view. Now you see, every time Dr. Mahathir wins, there is a post election rally. So in 1986, there was one. 1990, small one. 1995, there's one. 1999, there's a big one. But 1904, he is no longer uh, participating. So the, this is, uh, uh, he's not involved. So in other words, every time Dr. Mahathir participate and there is a win, there is a post election rally. What about this time? If he, if he wins, would there be a post-election rally? Uh, based on past history, the trend that is, uh, we are trend followers, mm -hmm. all right? So that could be one way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, what about Najib, Dato Najib? 2013, he won, and there was a pre and a post. That means the that means the business community or rather the market participants they like the fact that there is one and uh, they expect that he continues to be one and i suppose that's why many of you has voted that pre and post uh there you there would be a rally and it would be a rally if Najo najib brings in both sense so basically <laughs> the thought for me is doesn't matter if not Dato Najib win or Dr. Mahathir win, that will be one. <laughs> but this time, again, I might be wrong because Dr. Mahathir is in the opposition and is no longer leader. Um, so, a Najib win, I would definitely put the market in a, a much better state. There's no changes in the policies of the government and uh, so there won't be so much of uh, upheaval and changes so that mm -hmm. because uh, uh, companies, businesses, they hate uncertainties. Mm -hmm. So, um, if at all, so that is our view, my view, right? Personal view. Mm -hmm. And so let's look forward uh, to uh, a pre and a post election rally. Yeah. Obviously, I voted for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm voting for a pre and a post election rally. Mm -hmm. So, now I just give you an idea that we monitor this current one. And yes, there is a post, there is a pre-election rally. Now, you notice here, in February 2018, there were 12 counters going up. Mm. And it was down from January. So, the February, our statistics show that there were very few companies in election uh, mode. Only 12 counters uh, out of, down here got about 30, 40 counters. Now, in, in April, just yesterday, we found that there were 17 counters rebounded, mm. right? And uh, this is up from February when we did a survey and found there were only, sorry, in March, uh, and we only found that there are only four. In other words, March was the worst period that all these counters are uh, be sold down and only four were up. But today, 17 counters are up. So that means there is a vast improvement and dissolution on Friday means that okay, the market participants have pumped their money back into the market. Now why so? Obviously, they have got more information, better information than you and me and, and they are of the view that look, um, it is worthwhile to continue to invest in this country. Mm -hmm. So actually, there's good news. Yeah. So that's from the election. So what are the election stocks that rebounded very quickly? Armada is one, and this one got buy signal today. Eh? Mm -hmm. Next one, D-Sonic. Now this came from the bottom. Eh? It has been dropping like crazy, but has rebounded. You got a trend line, of course, to cross, but at least something. Destiny, mm -hmm. now this, this was tooted, is tooted to be a investment uh, stock, uh, election stock. But look, it was sold down until three days ago. Four days ago, you can see that it gapped up and it already crossed the downtrend line. So I would say that this is one of the counters okay, that is due for a rebound. Now, DRV Highcom, similarly, it was sold down in April the 4th. But look at that, April the 3rd. It has bounced back up and closed above that long black candle. Mm -hmm. So in other words, this stock, again, okay, has re-triggered a re-entry strategy. A buy, a buy signal. Mm -hmm. E-Force as well. Uh, E-Force hit a double bottom and is now rebounding. Notice they have been sold down 
since the beginning of 2018. Yep. This is 2018. That was how bearish the market was to us. Mm -hmm. And if therefore, ladies and gentlemen, if you are losing money or have lost money this period, huh, it is uh, understandable. Mm. Who can make money in a falling market? Mm -hmm. Who can make money in a downtrend? Exactly. But do not give up. Yeah. Do not lose hope. Exactly. You must preserve your capital so you still have that capital with you so that in the event of a rebound, which is now, mm -hmm. you still got money to go in to fight back. Exactly. Okay. And counter attack. So therefore, money management is of utmost importance. When you trade, when you invest, you make sure that if the market or the stock goes down, you must cut your positions. Mm. Otherwise, uh, you don't preserve your capital. You have nothing left to take revenge, so to speak, when the markets are better, which is like now. If you had a few, you had some money left and you bought a three days ago, yesterday and today, you'll be okay. You'll be laughing. So, <laughs> you know, that is our view. Uh, uh, in so far as money management. So let's continue. Now, FGV, mm. another interesting stock is an exactly. election based stock. Mm. Everybody knows. All right. And the way I look at it, mm, it hit a major trend line support. In fact, Ms. Nina, one of our uh, analysts, saw that and uh, and she looked back and draw a trend line and it didn't break that and bounce off it. Look at that long handle, long handle. Mm -hmm. up handled yesterday to 190 obviously it congested yeah, today mm -hmm. but i see potential in this stock yep okay let's monitor this stock mm -hmm. maxis okay not so much but at least it bounce off the lows media all right uh look at that it's been sold down all the way but this has a minor rebound only mm -hmm. okay mrcb now guess what it crossed the downtrend line so this something interesting okay not the best of stocks okay mm -hmm. but there is a rebound you mm -hmm. see what happened this last four days did to it look at the rebound it wiped off all the losses of the past one month yeah that is how strong this rebound is mm -hmm. pcam this pcam is actually an uptrending stock yeah? pcam maybank public bank and these are uptrending stocks Prista, okay already again broke the downtrend Okay, the four days of up cover up all the two weeks of losses. That is Sakura Energy. Oh, now right. this is when I drew this. This was before today's candle, mm -hmm. but based on today, it already have broke through. I'm gonna share with them later we're on. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna share with you <laughs> later on. You know, uh, Mr. Izzo. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. Um, we're gonna what share. What he did actually was he filtered all the stocks yeah. today. And then the, yeah. uh, and, and Nina, Nina as well. Yeah. And then they listed out all the stocks with bicycle yeah. and Sapporo Energy is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. We're gonna share with with all of you what is the stocks that we're going to see for tomorrow, Thursday. Yeah. So stay Which tuned. Which also guys. includes <laughs> Sign. Eh? Sign mm -hmm. is also one of them. Right. All right. Um, very interesting. Eh? Very interesting this election because these three days has turned the tables against the bears. The bears were in total control of the market until three days ago, uh, since Friday, since the dissolution of parliament, really, really, really. Mm. It's those who are trading, you can feel it. Mm. All right. So Tanaga, oh, this is one of the strongest stocks. They are in a trend all the while. UEM agenda, U-turn. Now it fell since January all the way down. But look at that. Four days, oh, it recovered. Well, still some losses, but uh, it's actually on recovery mode. YTL, who won the uh, high speed rail, okay, they have been also sold down like hell since uh, January, but now it's rebounding again. Interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. those are the election stocks that we have, uh, we are monitoring. Huh? Now, now we haven't gone to the winning stocks that some of the winning stocks also belong to the election based stocks. Mm -hmm. So let's now go on to how to pick winning stocks in a bear market. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, okay, the way to make money in Malaysia is to buy stocks in an uptrend. Yep. And how do you define an uptrend? Mm -hmm. You use higher high and higher low, but that takes time. 
seven hours to flip through all the chart one by one mm -hmm. to look at the highs and the low. Mm -hmm. And so what we did nowadays is we that system. We use the that system. Theory system mm -hmm. can solve all your problem. Can solve. 30 seconds, we screen, we get an answer. We are about to share with you shortly uh, right after this. What is the stock that we see right now is uptrending and it's really good for us to observe uh, tomorrow. Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Fred. All right. Um, okay, now, how to pick winning stocks? I'm going to go very quickly. Mm -hmm. So, you must, in an up, you must spot number one, and spot stock that are in an uptrend. Mm -hmm. And once they are in an uptrend, there are two ways to buy. That is basically what it is. Mm -hmm. The top two trading methods, when they are in an uptrend, you either buy on the breakout of that stock. Mm -hmm. The basic concepts of a breakout is that if the price is able to break out of a certain resistance, okay, like this, breakout of resistance, okay, that means breakout of the red line, the stock will have further upside momentum. Mm -hmm. And you like to enter, and you enter here. See that burst? And that only problem is how do you identify this key resistance area? This is where our tech system comes in. Mm -hmm. Automatically, when the stock breaks the resistance, okay, it filters out, it scans, and tells you, all right, that stock is breaking out, therefore you buy. So this method assures us of getting a stock once they break up, when the momentum is the highest. Mm -hmm. We will never miss any stock that is in an uptrend. And the way we identify them is we use three arrows that make it so simple so that even a newbie like you, mm -hmm. okay, those of you who are newbie can understand. Just looking at the three arrows and if they're up, means the stock is in an uptrend. And if there are three arrows, mean there is a buy signal. Mm -hmm. Okay, And of course, to sell, you must have three arrows down. So let's look at dialogue here. Mm -hmm. Dialogue's three arrows up would mean here on the 24th of August mm -hmm. last year was mm -hmm. a buy at $2 because there are three arrows pointing up, turtle, atom, and dutch. And notice from that point until now, with this 307, uh, there was no sell signal at all. And you would have made a profit of 53.5% in eight months if you had used a simple system like that. Mm -hmm. Powerful, 53%. Mm. Yeah. It can beat your conventional way, how you save your money or you invest. 53% is very, very good. Mm. <laughs> and then this is a super stock. This is a stock that has got mm -hmm. uh, fundamentals. Yeah. The other, and I just want to share with yeah, you, Mr. Fred, about uh, let's go back to the dialogue here. Uh, very interesting case. A uh, couple of months ago, there's one person right here walk, uh, walk in the company dialogue. Uh, she went, uh, he went and made a stop uh, dialogue. So he worked in the company dialogue, and we told him that your company stock is HA is going up. Uh, but surprisingly. He don't buy it. And right after that, the stocks went up almost 20 to 30%. And he came back to me and he said that, now I know. He should have bought it. I should have bought it on the early on. And But he is working in that company, Dialog. And he, he asked me one question. He said, how do you know that? I say three arrow. Yes. Is that simple? I say, yes, it is. One to three arrow. That's all that you need to know. Mm. <laughs> so, that's why yeah. staff is Just a imagine staff. he is a staff of a dialogue and he, yet, yeah, he didn't, he didn't buy it. So 30% mm. is wonderful. Just imagine if you have a 10,000 uh, ringgit of investment, you could have profit almost 3,000 ringgit already. Well, you know, sometimes people who <laughs> live there, uh, who work there, yeah. they don't really know the intrinsic value of yeah. their own company. Actually, which is worth more than what they think. Really. Exactly. And that's where the charts can tell, you know, whether yeah. or not your stock is being bought up or being sold down. Right. Now, the, that, that breakup is a very, very BOB, what we call it. Huh? It's, yeah. um, it, it's, it's a... Is a way to catch momentum stocks, but then when a stock is falling, you cannot use a BOB buy and break up. Mm. You only can use a buy and dip, which is basically our next method, yep. method number two. That a stock once they broken out, uh, and then you fail to chase it because it's already gone too high. When they pull back and then they've been sold down, there is a point uh, where you can you can catch it on the drop. You know, after a correction, that's called a buy on weakness or a buy on dips. And we want to show you how this method, buy on pullback, help us to catch so many of the stocks the last three days. Mm -hmm. See, our stocks have been falling the past one month, two months, three months. And so um, it hit a bottom. 
how do you know that's a bottom? Now, the Japanese candlestick method is called uh, 8 to 10 new price low. And so this is the pattern mm. that we used to pick. Those stocks have been fallen a lot, and that is 8 new 10 to 10 new price low. Now, what is this all about? The Japanese traders, okay, they have a way to buy at the bottom of the market. And one way is when a stock makes a new low and it makes eight to ten new lows, record lows, that is as far as it can go and it will be due for a rebound. Now that's the Japanese theory of how to catch a falling stock. So we use this technique huh, to catch Malaysian stocks. Now the Japanese has a, uh, a way of saying it, if a stock can make new 8 to, eight to 10 new record lows, its stomach is 80% hungry, that it will be coming out to eat. And so the stock, in other words, uh, after 8 to 10, is already hungry. Mm -hmm. Now 8 to 10 is average. Sometimes it can be 13. Okay, so uh, it is an average. So let me use this example and uh, of 8 to 10 and see how we caught so many stocks and the way to to trigger a buy even if 8 to 10 is you must have a reversal pattern now let's take for example okay in air asia in 2015 mm -hmm. we caught 13 new lows that means this air asia stock dropped day after day after day after day for 13 consecutive times and since there is no buy pattern no buy signal we don't buy so it could and in this case we dropped 13 days but after we saw a green color over red color that means there is a reversal signal and we went in and buy and that was when air asia was 76 and a half cents and guess what it rebounded all the way to $1.39. So on the 26th of August, we call a buy in Air Asia, let's say at 89 cents. And guess what? By the 22nd of September, uh, it already went to $1.39. And within just less than a month, 27 mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. this pattern made 56% ROI, return investment. Now, we caught this in 2015. But if you use it to today's market, this couple of days, do you know that many of them fell down to about 8 to 10 new lows, some to 13, 15? I'm going to show you now. Mm -hmm. And that's how we are going to use this pattern to catch this bottom, market bottom. Mm -hmm. So let's look at G Tronic. Oh. G Tronic. Those of you who have G Tronic, <laughs> Who bought it two three days ago we want to know how we caught it <laughs> this is how we caught it our 10 member making 11. money yeah our 10 member making yeah. money <laughs> we we bought it okay around 353 uh, to 380. anyway it's 11 new lows this time so if you do a count here okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven new lows and it make a u-turn and that pattern right at the bottom is a bullish rami Bullish Harami is a Japanese name for meaning pregnant, and this is a bullish reversal. In short, we bought at 410 and it closed at what, 470, 480 today. Mm -hmm. How much did we make today? Eh? We bought at uh, uh, around the 410. Eh? Now, what is the pattern? That pattern is called bullish Harami. This is the pattern, mm -hmm. and that is the buy signal, right? And this was bullish pattern was responsible. For all of you who have bought G Tronic, okay, and make a lot of money, is because of this. So you would like to thank this pattern. This is a great bullish mm -hmm. reversal pattern called mm -hmm. bullish Rami, which we use it to trigger a buy together with the 13 new lows. Mm -hmm. 13 new lows. So now this is G Tronic, okay. Now that is our bullish Rami, and we call a buy at 410. And uh, it actually went to hit 496 today. Mm -hmm. And this is the week. Now, is it over? Mm -hmm. According to Air Asia's pattern, the V, the completion of which 
will mean that it can take G trotting up to 640. Wow. So that is possible. Wow. I'm not saying that that is <laughs> yeah. that is for sure, but if yeah. it, it is in forecast, yeah, yeah. Uh, based on Air Asia's past, mm. whereby it, it formed a perfect V, it is possible with that as the ultimate target, which is 650. Mm -hmm. And subsequently, Air Asia even surpassed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those who are joining us right now, if you have a piece of pen or paper right now, go ahead and take a piece of paper and write this down, G-Tronic, to put inside your uh, watch list. So this is uh, uh, 8 to 13 new low candle and it start to rebound. So this is a very interesting technique for those who are aggressive trader. Yeah. You like to make money. Uh, while the market is bottom and have this Japanese multiple candle 8 to 13 uh, new low and you like to take advantage when you see there's a confirmation of this Japanese candlestick and make money right there. So uh, for your information right here, Japanese candlestick has been used for more than 300 years, years already and it's effective uh, until today. So that is why technical analysis for those who learn Japanese candlestick, it will really help you out to make a good money. Seriously, you really make good money with this uh, simple method right here, Japanese candlestick. Mm -hmm. and, and this is this run is not over. In case some of you say, yeah, you, why are you telling us now? Okay, um, we are having a webinar today, so we're telling, but uh, mm -hmm. it is not over because uh, if, um, um, you, as you can see, the target is right up there, mm -hmm. but it may not go immediately. It might go sideways for a couple of days, mm -hmm. but it should continue the trend. Okay, the trend has changed via a bullish harami mm -hmm. signal here so the next um stock mm. that has chrono. also have this eight to ten new lows is chrono mm -hmm. which makes 14 new lows eh? mm -hmm. and uh, where do you start counting eh, is from the time eh, it dropped without any uh, uh, big space in between then uh, you consider that stretch uh, and start counting from the high mm -hmm. to the next lower high and the lower low and a lower low and a lower low so in this example okay chrono it dropped to 14 new lows now and those of you who um our members will realize that uh on last friday mm -hmm. when there's a bullish alarm we already call a standby yeah. mm -hmm. and the next day we say that if you are aggressive mm -hmm. okay you would buy there and then if not you just confirm buy Okay, when there is a bullish harami confirmation pattern, which is here. And let me just show you. Uh, that mm -hmm. is the bullish harami with the confirmation. Guess what? The next three days, it just went up. Mm -hmm. It just went up. And is it over? If you're saying a perfect V is to be completed, then it's not over. Mm -hmm. With the high at 83 cents. Mm -hmm. And today, Chrono is only about 60 or cents. Now, for those who are listening to us right now, I know some of you are probably going to think that, okay, since Mr. Fred mentioned about Chrono, can I buy it tomorrow then? So we want to share with you right here that you, yeah, there's a few techniques that right here that you can buy. But right now, you can see it's rebound about three days already. Uh, I think it's good for you to be patient a little bit. Yeah. If there's a pullback or discount a bit or retrace a little bit so that you can have a very good entry for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then another one good thing about uh, for those who are member of TAD, you are will be the most earliest one uh, to be notified. So that's why uh, that's the great thing about you become a TAD member. I know sometimes you are very busy. It's very hard for you to, you know, to check the pattern each of the day. And this is the part of the service that we give to all members every single minute, every single hour, every single day. What we see, what C4 Fred Times see, he will notify inside the group. And that will really save you a lot of your time. Uh, compared to you do your own analysis yeah you, you see um we have a, a, a service which is basically yep. our newsletter mm -hmm. whereby as part of the newsletter that you receive every day mm -hmm. a commentary uh, we include you into our telegram mm -hmm. and telegram is the best uh, in, uh invention that uh you know that happened these five years mm -hmm. because of telegram we are able to communicate with you instantly mm -hmm. whenever we see a buy signal or a sell signal we post it on telegram exactly and uh and you always with your mobile phone mm -hmm. and you'll be able to see instantly almost instantly whether it's a buy signal or not mm -hmm. and then the, uh, then you go in and uh, you just do your page your orders through your laptop 
that is possible now because of uh, this technology and in our newsletter service uh, we give you uh, the telegram and include you as a service shake safe tda exclusive member superb yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah thank absolutely you, now let's continue so we have got uh, uh, chrono, chrono here we wanted to show you okay the bullish harami the beautiful the power of the bullish harami and mm -hmm. um, the uh three days 21 percent yeah wow this is very we already make 21 percent in three days Amazing. now right now it's a little bit overbought you mm -hmm. might want to wait for a while yep. and see mm -hmm. uh, we expect a little bit of one two days of pullback yep. before it ascend again mm -hmm. but uh, uh we believe that the trend has changed mm -hmm. and uh, we are looking at a new uptrend. Exactly. Now JHM oh, yeah. is another stock <laughs> in um, which is uh, which is in our stable. Yeah. We did call a buy also on Friday because of of the great bullish harami. It's really great. It really helped us Japanese candlestick yeah, to important. nail down the bottom of a market. Yeah. Right. And with the huge volume you can see that's called a climax. The selling climax mm -hmm. and look at the sharp rebound mm -hmm. and see the old high is 147 so right now <laughs> IJ, uh, ijhm is only 108 so yeah. there's still oh, mm -hmm. some 40 percent mm -hmm. to go but it may not go straight up so we suggest yeah. that uh, you monitor uh, uh, with us and mm -hmm. be our member and that will be the best yeah to be able to monitor so jhm again like chrono wait for a while there's a pullback and for those already in congratulations <laughs> oh, is wait for a while eh? yeah uh, because by now as i speak to you it's mm. very very bullish yeah yeah very mm. very bullish and so here it goes uh jhm so far in three days it makes 17.7 percent yeah and uh the target is here at 131. Mm -hmm. and uh Mastil, this mm. one has 12 new lows one two three four five seven eight and look at the rebound yeah mm -hmm. the rebound is um, tremendous uh but if you look at the overall target there's still some room to go so mm -hmm. all this you might want to take a snapshot of it mm -hmm. okay um and monitor them yeah. hibiscus this yeah. is beautiful today yes uh it actually <laughs> continue the rally mm -hmm. uh that started with again a bullish harami over here bullish harami today there's a gap Okay. OWG only world group now it fell right through the support of 113 and it went to 85 cents, but way down oversold. And now it's rebounding. We see the next target at 113. Mm -hmm. okay, 113. Now we are going a little fast because uh, then uh, we, there's still something we like to show yeah. you, and that is our other stocks eh? mm -hmm. with triple arrows. Mm -hmm. These are all rebounding stocks. Now this one, Sapura Energy, also has a three arrows up. It is also a 11 new low. It has a bullish engulfing. Eh? This one is not a bullish harami, but engulfing which is more powerful than a bullish harami. And guess what, we caught it again. This one is way earlier, way earlier. And then he's done a uh, pullback and now already broke through the whole high. So that's a Sapphira Energy, a great stock that is still a hole with targets. You can see the two targets there. One is 70 cents, the other one is 105. Jason has a very good question here. Say, Mr. Fred, how to distinguish between fake rebound like dead cap bounce? Mm. Volume. The volume is volume. One way. The volume is one way, brother Jason. Yeah. If you see a rebound that it's it's also supported by such a huge volume, means the buying is interest already to to go in. So that's one of the way actually to know uh, whether the rebound is not that really fake. So if the rebound is fake but the volume is really low, that is for me considered quite fake rebound. So that means somebody is you know manipulate the price or you know they just want to make the chart look beautiful. Yep. And a day cap bounce will make another new low very soon. Mm. You see, a, 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 a genuine bounce, they will continue with the trend. So to know whether or not your bounce is a fake, you put a stop loss below the low of the last two bars. Mm -hmm. And if it is fake, uh, it will go right through. Mm -hmm. And uh, you would like to uh, uh, exit. 
Mm-hmm. But volume is definitely so. Do not buy any liquid stock. Exactly. For me, volume is Jason. For me, it's play a very important role. You see, uh, the the buyer, the psychologist, actually they like to pump more money, and you see the volume gradually going up. So they will be they will be very funny about a, a person actually buying. End up they will sell it back down. That's not that really logic. They buying because there's a reason they see in that in that stocks. The reason. Uh, you know why they want to buy it so for me volume will actually play a very important role right here uh to help you out with it to know whether it's fake or not yep so far in all our stocks mentioned tonight there really mm. there are no daycare bounces mm. here uh, we will not feature it here in the daycare bounces mm-hmm. and normally uh there are normal days activities is there are no volume and mm-hmm. suddenly a huge volume comes in they draw you in and after that they disappear mm-hmm. so do not play those stocks like okay Okay. Lion Industry, 13 new lows. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll just go very quickly. Now, GCAN, 9 new lows. All these are caught eh? mm-hmm. uh, by a, a bullish Arami or a bullish engulfing or a homing pigeon in this case. All right. Oh, and Destiny, eh? another great stock with a homing pigeon. Mm-hmm. And this one has really got a, uh, uh, a fantastic future. You look at it, it dropped so much mm-hmm. and it hit a double bottom and bounce of it. Uh, it's an election stock. Mm-hmm. Look at the high when it started to drop with the gap down. It's about sixty cents. Mm-hmm. What so, to watch? Yeah, way to go. So yeah. it's a good stock to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Key metal. Mm. So I do not know whether you all realize it that uh, the steep, the the, 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 the steep of the drop, you know, has been so consistent for so long, you know, uh, that uh, you fail to realize that. Uh, it has given us a an opportunity mm-hmm. to, to 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 buy right at the bottom. If you do understand what is new low means, huh? uh, it is bad in one sense, but it is good in another sense. It sets up an opportunity to buy right at the bottom. Now, so now we are going to show you, okay, uh, the stocks that now we already show you the stocks that can buy on a pullback, buy at. Uh, near the bottom mm. and they already have rebounded mm-hmm. now he, now we are uh, going to show you a list of stocks uh, that actually is a momentum buy that is just broken up of an old high so in these kind of stocks you're not buying low and selling high but you're buying high and selling higher mm-hmm. and um what we saw john did and nina did earlier was they filtered out okay the the whole uh, universe of malaysia uh, stocks and then listed down those stock with buy signal mm-hmm. based on the BOB, yeah? buy on breakup. So have your cameras well, ready and yeah. I'll copy this. Mm-hmm. All right, these are the list of stocks that mm-hmm. on tomorrow mm-hmm. is expected to continue the rally of today. Mm-hmm. Is expected eh, mm-hmm. to continue, not for sure. Eh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Forecasted. Forecasted yeah. to mm-hmm. continue they are ready mm-hmm. based on their past momentum mm-hmm. and it has three arrows pointing up number one sapphira Sap- energy so exactly. let's find out why <laughs> okay <laughs> our tag system triggered a buy mm-hmm. and you see here there's an arrow here below the candle mm-hmm. that is a turtle arrow mm-hmm. so we have a buy there if you go down and look at the second bottom which is the atom arrow and you see another buy there arrow up arrow and then another up arrow ducks so we have a tad buy signal mm-hmm. turtle atom and ducks mm-hmm. and all three are aligned on the same day wow which makes this a golden catch mm-hmm. a baby boat so for all you know sapora energy this is the beginning of its uptrend mm-hmm. you probably you are catching it right at the bottom in one month, two months, you will write to us and say thank you very much, Mr. Izon, Mr. Fred, all our analysts for assisting us. Huge, Huge money volume. went into the market. Six Huge. million volume lots today traded uh, in Sapphira Energy. And there's a big buyer also coming in. So it's a stock stuff for all, all of us for, you know, put into your watch list, uh, Baby Bo, yeah, for mm-hmm. Sapphira Energy. Okay, Mr. Fred, yeah. Next one right here that you need to write down tonight. Now, we have the targets there, mm-hmm. okay? Just uh, take yep. note of it. Yeah, okay? sub energy. Sign. Okay, mm-hmm. why we call it sign buy? It has a tag, mm-hmm. buy signal. Mm-hmm. Turtle, atom, and ducks. Mm-hmm. Again, another golden stock. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a wedge breakout, and we have done the measurement 
the targeting for you and this is where as a member of our newsletter mm -hmm. okay you will be able to get to see the targeting for every stock that we suggested based mm -hmm. on technical analysis exactly. so that is the beauty of being our member mm -hmm. and afterwards uh, mr Ivo, izon will share with you yep. how if you're interested to be a member mm -hmm. okay and yep. uh, how do you go about to enroll to be our member mm -hmm. armada mm -hmm. look this is an oil and gas counter sapura energy is an oil and gas counter and part of the reason why these stocks are being bought up right now is because the oil and gas the crude oil is at 65 dollars and even though as i speaking to you right now 66.19 so say that's 66.19 it's going to fly <laughs> i tell you that because our crude oil is important to us because we are the net exporter of crude yeah. and no wonder our ringgit is 3.86 3.87 which is very strong mm -hmm. okay so all these pieces that the foreign funds they rather invest in us than to take out the money from us exactly okay because as our rank gets strengthened when they withdraw they get more foreign currency out of it mm -hmm. so can you see why okay uh ring gets strength mm -hmm. is important to us and why oil price strength is important to the ring because we are the net exporter mm -hmm. and armada and sapura energy they are all part of the oil complex so uh so it's hibiscus so it's rich mm -hmm. r e a c h so let's continue mm -hmm. yeah this is another golden stock and you see the turtle atom and that's all aligned this is a gem mm -hmm. of a software mm -hmm. and of the indicators the tab indicator that we have actually designed to make it so simple, simple and for beautiful. you okay to yeah. analyze stocks mm -hmm. and you can analyze chart after chart after chart mm -hmm. harta this is the top uh this is a glove company and this three gloves company although export but they make they still get investors okay mm -hmm. whereas the fiber bots they are exporters as well which okay but they lose business kivia evergreen micro cannot play anymore mm -hmm. but this harta top glove can play yeah why because it's making you high mm -hmm. and it's broken out of a ascending triangle mm -hmm. now rich and we come to nearly the end mm -hmm. so the rich here basically is also a buy signal can you see this total atom and duck and it is all aligned at the same time and so um we have a golden spot a buy signal here mm -hmm. rich. and these are the various targets so same with hibiscus uh, they also they are spat companies mm -hmm. and uh, as PAD. and so um they move in tandem mm -hmm. and bridge starian mm -hmm. okay this one uh just recently triggered a buy uh, this is an election based stock and so uh we put that because uh we also think it's going to go on so in summary yeah uh, this after one and a half hours in talk so what is our view on our market is this number one we think we can expect to see a continuation of this pre-election rally mm -hmm. right to near the election and we will know when the funds are starting to sell out or jittery a little bit because the japanese candlesticks right on top will tell us that but not today so we will see day by day how the market unfold and this is a beautiful thing about technical analysis so if you are a member you are able to follow us through the telegram huh? every minute of the trading day and uh, we feel that if our party wins especially the uh, if they win by a huge margin that's important then there should be a post election rally and um uh, so this is a really uh uh the best best opportunity yeah for us to um, market to monitor the market and be part of it mm -hmm. they selectively i would want you to buy i will look, we look for ci stock selective because we don't think it's going to go up very much uh more than the lower liner stocks which are the small and mid cap you know why because they have been beaten down too much already sold down <laughs> for three months and so they need to bounce back up so the greatest opportunity in terms of profit lies in these stocks opportunities about and uh, how to detect this bob bod stocks that's where the share the investor station uh, our tad comes and helps us okay and uh, uh you can purchase 
our TAD system, if not just subscribe to our newsletter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, and lastly, we take this opportunity that if um, those of you who are new, uh, prepare yourself, okay, for the next Buran. In fact, it is already coming, this Buran. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be good for you to uh, take up this technique and learning from us because we are a school and we teach technical analysis and we are the best people to learn from. <laughs> Okay, so uh, are we ready to open a question, Mr. Fred? Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we have yeah, a lot of people right end. here. Say, Sifu Fred, can you comment on Heng Yuan? Yep. Everybody's not yes, looking yes. at Heng Yuan. So let's do a live demo, shall we? And so that we can yep. pull stock after stock that you're interested in. Yeah, you have any question? Go uh -huh. ahead, type on the chat box. We so, will pick about so two you to want three. Heng Yuan, right? Yep, Heng Yuan. Okay, so we need to select. Guys, if you have a stocks that you are holding it right now, take this opportunity to ask Sifu Fred some live right now. What kind of stocks that you want Sifu Fred to give you a comment, especially on the stocks uh, that you're holding it right now? So let's go ahead, Mr. Fred, on Hengya. See, whatever stocks you're interested in, you just key in on the top right hand side here, in one, and you will be able to get uh, this page displayed. And you can see from this Heng Yuan chart, the arrow up, mm -hmm. okay, this is the uh, the buy arrows. Mm -hmm. Can you notice that uh, there was a buy in Heng Yuan since 6th of November, 6th of November at about uh, 8 ringgit, 9 ringgit. It rallied all the way up to 1920 and then there was a sell signal here, all right, at about 617, can you believe that? Then all the way down until now there is no buy signal. All right, based on the turtle 2010 no buy signal, based on a fast turtle, there is a buy signal. And so, for us, for aggressive traders, now this is our view. Our view is we are long on Hing Yuan, we are buying Hing Yuan, but we are getting out at the next gap. The next gap is very near, and that is about 10 16. So, we feel that uh, there is a huge resistance there. Uh, at, it is very difficult for it to go above that, so we like to take our profits, all right, uh, before 10.16. But for those of you who have been following us, you know that, look at that bullish harami with a confirmation, we went into Heng Yuan about 7.30, 7.40. And so we are very happy at uh, now 9.30, uh, went to a high of 9.37 and pulled back to 8.95 today. But I still feel now this is very steady and it should have one more spurt. I'm not sure if it's going to go back to 18, right? But let the charts tell us if it can break 10, 16, then yes, of course, it can go back to any price higher, but we will measure it then. We will not expect it to go up so fast to there, but you go up to the next higher gap, which is about 14, 18, there's a gap there. So these are the two gap areas which I call resistance. Mm -hmm. So in short, is a hole, okay, but put a stop below 814 because 814 mm. is the low of this long green candle. All right. Very interesting. For those who I'll take profit at 1060. Yeah, 1060. As it goes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That's yeah. comment on Very cautious. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Aimless. Some, uh, Ricky. I, I think many of them right here would like to ask you, Mr. Fred. I see a big number of them asking about MHB. MHB, yeah? yeah. It's a big number of them is asking about MHB. So uh, we're going to take space for a while. MHB. MHB. So I'm going to go for uh, the stocks that I see is quite common among of all of you. I'm uh, just wondering uh, uh, what's <laughs> the uh, what's inside MHB that makes you so interesting. Exactly. I saw there's, so there's uh, several of them, but let's see what you see on your technical side, Mr. Fred. Technical side, mm. I'm, I'm seeing yep. nobody is, uh, <laughs> no Jurong is controlling this stock. Exactly. Mm. No Jurong. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no trend at all. Uh, yeah. It is uh, it is a sideways trend and there is uh, no interest in this. There's no direction at all. Mm -hmm. So you are just you are just um, uh, it's just going nowhere, and you're just getting more and more frustrated. Mm -hmm. My suggestion is to get out as soon as you can and switch to another stock that is mm -hmm. trending. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said about the con the trend is very important. Mm -hmm. Where's the trend here? I don't see any trend, <laughs> sideways trend. Mm -hmm. So um, for those of you who have MHB, mm -hmm. for whatever reason it is, uh, mm -hmm. the technicals are telling you that this is going nowhere. Mm -hmm. so, sideways, yeah? Yeah. So 
exit. Next question by Og. Can TAD system project target price, especially new stocks like Hibiscus Warren? WC. So I think Hibiscus Warren is just issued, uh, you know, by the company. Uh, we have to do a reverse check on that. But the high business market share that we can see it right now, Mr. Frey can see what's the next yeah. target. Uh, we cannot do warrants. Yeah, because uh, it's just started. It's just listed. Yeah, it's just listed. Yep. And uh, even so, if it's not, it's longer listed. We need a warrant calculator. It's yep. not easy. Yep. High business, the mother. Okay, it moves along with the warrant. Yep. Uh, I'm seeing actually a double bottom here. There's a fake breakdown. We call a. Uh, uh, bear trap and it traps the bears and uh, now it's pulling back up. I like the gap that mm -hmm. happened today. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow uh, it is due to break out of this downtrend line mm -hmm. and if it can break right through, uh, it should continue its uptrend to test the old high of 117. So now what's the number get, Mr. Fred you're looking for? 0 0.89? Uh, what number number to take profit to, to break out to break out break yeah. out above 0 0.89 uh, that means 90 any uh, price 90 cent and above mm -hmm. is a further buy mm -hmm. all right and with a stop loss to below uh, 70. Mm -hmm. so uh if that is too low for you then uh below 76. okay uh right now so that is are you holding on to it? Then you continue to hold. Mm -hmm. There is no sell signal right now. Mm -hmm. A bigger number right here, Mr. Fred, UMWOG. That's the last for tonight. And for those who, uh, those who stay around with us, stay tuned because we're going to share with you how you can get the ebook for free. That's what 49 million 90 cent towards the end of this presentation. So UMWOG, Mr. Fred, we see, wow. There mm. is a rebound on uh, UMWOG, mm -hmm. uh, but there's no, <clears throat> not enough of strength for it to penetrate 33 and a half. So 33 and a half cent is the resistance. Uh, if it breaks through 33 and a half, that means 34 or higher, then uh, the bulls have got much more chance of pushing up. Right now, uh, the bulls are, um, are, are taking revenge. They are pushing the price up, but the bears at the same time, uh, they are right there to stop any further advance. This compared to rich, uh, rich is better, mm -hmm. and Amara is a much better share because it is making new high. This is coming down, coming up from underneath, underwater, mm -hmm. so to speak. So now it's trying to get above water. Mm -hmm. Until it can get above water, don't touch it. Where is the above water? 34 cents. So 34 just remember cents. this uh, number, jot it down, 34 cents or higher, then you can safely re-enter. Right now, uh, no point buying into it. If you want to buy something, buy something that is trending. This is sideways. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So I think I'm going to take this mouse for there a while. Here, yeah, the next and so yeah. on. Uh, so I see there's, there's a lot so of, of you of right here uh, uh, giving a continuously comment right here. So I think that's the great thing uh, if you actually have uh, you know, the TAT system with you. In fact, you want to have all this inquiry. The best thing to become a TAT member is you can ask this question anytime and all our TAT member will answer you on the spot. So you don't have to uh, wait again every month at market outlook. So if you subscribe to the program, you will get immediately access to the TAT system. Now, before we go through that, I uh, just want to share with you, this is all the users that uh, is using uh, the TAT system early of the year and last year. So uh, we want to share with you that uh, this is all the successful trader that make money uh, with us this uh, couple of uh, months. Um, this is the result. Some of them make money in Hengyuan. Uh, look at the ROI, 16.44%, uh, make 1,440 ringgit uh, in Hengyuan. Some of them make 13,000 ringgit profit. Look at the ROI, 23%. Uh, right here, we just want to share with you that uh, our TED member have a wonderful result right here using a TED system. Uh, this is another trader that make 14.48% uh, again with Heng Yuan with 28,000 ringgit profit. Okay. Uh, another guy is going to make another uh, mid profit right here on the Heng Yuan with 18.97% with 22,800 ringgit profit. Uh, right here, this is our uh, one of our awesome member right here. Uh, that this year he made a seven figure earner about five million uh, right here joining a uh, 10 member and f1 academy right here so you can see uh, mr ong lam what say 
Uh, many thanks to uh, Sifu Fred Tam for guiding him 2016, 2017, and 2018. He made paper profit of 5 million right here with that. So congratulations again uh, to Mr. Ong Lam Puan. And right here, we also have a six-figure earner early of the week of January. Uh, six-figure earner means those who make um, more than 100,000 uh, every time they trade. So we have one trader right here. Shea Chakrin is... Uh, He's listening us right now. He make 109% profit with 111,000 profit right there with the profit. So we have a lot of people make a six figure. We also have people right here, not only make six figure, but we also have people making five figure. So regardless your capital big or small, we take good care of each of you, regardless your capital big or small right here. So five figure on the early of the week of January as well, we see those who make more than 10,000. We see this uh, one of our trader in Miri make 47,000 ringgit profit with 9.87% at the top glove. Uh, five figure earner as well. And we just want to share with you, we also have a four figure earner, those who make 1,000 ringgit, 2,000 ringgit. But look at the ROI right here, beautiful with 76%. Uh, percent. And right here, I just want to share with you, we also have a three figures income earner as well. Uh, this lady right here from, uh, from Sarawak right here, I got a chance to meet her. Uh, she started with a very small capital. Uh, she started on no November, very newbie. She signed up with the TAD system and she started trade with demo account only. And after two months, she trade with the real money. And this is her first result right here. She make 8.52%. Look at the ROI, beautiful, 8.52%. Uh, she said, uh, thank you, God, for blessing. Thank you, sir. Within seven days, 8.52%. 8.52% as a newbie. That's wonderful. Uh, look, even though she make only 82 ringgit profit right there, but look at her ROI. She made 8.52%. Uh, and right after that, her confidence increased. Uh, right here, she started to put a little bit more money. She made 22.73% uh, at UMWOG with the profit right here, 225 ringgit. And in fact, right here, once her skills is already get, getting better, I think she's ready to handle even a bit more fun. So right here, as a newbie right here, it's all about the skills first. You get your skills right, then only you start to trade confidently with a big capital. Okay, so I just want to jump right here. For those who want to get into the TED system as soon as possible by today, uh, you want to get into, you know, the system right here. So we just want to share with you, for those who want to get the system right here, I just want to share with you the nine awesome features that you can get right here in TED system. So if you purchase this program right here, I just want to share with you that this is what you're going to get. Uh, right here on the TED system. So number one right here, we're going to give you the software right here to help you out uh, to trade. So Share Investor Station, which is our partner right here, Share Investor Trading Software. We're going to give you part of the nine awesome features right here. If you purchase outside, it's going to cost you 1,621 ringgit for the next six months, but we put all this into a package, okay? Number two right here, you want this is actually the trading system or the trading template right here for buy on breakout and buy on dip. This is one of the most expensive template uh, developed by Sifu Fred and Tap Team. So you're going to have a two template right here, TAD, the three arrows uh, that you can buy using this template and F1 faster to, for you to buy on dip. Okay. So for your information right here, regardless, whatever your capital, big or small, this template will give you that signal. Imagine if your person used the signal and make 10,000 ringgit, 100,000 ringgit, so you can see this template can give you so much potential of, you know, opportunity for you to make money. So the market value for TAD template and F1 Fastable is actually worth 21,000 ringgit. And that is the value that we give to each of our trader for the next six months. Uh, the next one right here that you will give you as well, TAD Stocks Alert. For those who are very busy person, TAD Stocks Alert is very important for you. Every night you will get this, all the alerts, what is the stock? That is quite potential for us to look at it technically every night. So this this package right here is a lot already. We give you what five thousand ringgit for the next six months. Uh, number four right here, we like to give you the group support Telegram. This is what Sifu Fred mentioned today with this technology. Telegram will help you to give direct information as well. So next six months, we're going to support you every single day. In fact, our member right here will even reply until around five o'clock. Usually nine to five will be replied, but our TED member is so energetic, they can reply until nine in the night time, 10, sometime even 12 midnight. So it depends on our TED team. Uh, but so far right now, all our TED team and TED analysts really, really awesome right here. So this package right here, what 5,000 ringgit for the next six months, 
This is the value that we give to you right here as part of the service as well. So feature number five right here, that if you get KD system, you get a monthly webinar. This is the part right here that you not only learn how to become a pro trader, but you increase your knowledge from the beginner to intermediate to pro. So monthly webinar is a very expensive, but this is, the, this is your chance right here to learn with Sifu Fred with 30 years experience. Every single month, if we get a new new webinar, you will get a chance to join us online whenever you are. Sabah, Sarawak, or you oversee, you can join us right here for the monthly webinar. So we're gonna give you this a learning for about 10,000 ringgit for the next six months. This is the value that we give to you. Number six right here, live trading session. In order for you to become a great trader, you must learn from the pro trader. Every single week, we have a live trade session where you learn how to do the charting software, how to engage with the breakout, buy on dip, how you do your stop loss, live trade, live ping, live trade session is one of the best features right here in order for you to learn to become a pro trader. The value that we give you for the next six months is worth 5,000 ringgit. Now, features number seven right here that we'd like to give you as well, ebooks and hands out. If you join this program right here, we would like to announce here, you have your own online learning portal. You can access to this online learning portal any way you want. We give you ebooks, hands out, so they improve the way how you learn. Next six months, this program worth 999 ringgit. That is the value that we give to you. Now, this is the one of the most important part right here, your learning. So in the online learning portal, we already prepare you more than 30 videos, tutorials upon, teach you from the beginner until intermediate trader, until you become pro trader as well. So this program, this package right here, the value that we give you worth 6,999 ringgit, for the next six months, we divided this learning into three package, part one, part two, and part three. So part one, for those who newbie, take this opportunity, 14 videos is awaiting for you, including Japanese candlestick and chart pattern as well. So this is the part right here, you learn step by step how you become a pro trader. So for those who are listening right now, you are newbie, this package is perfect design for you. Now part number two right here will teach you how to become a pro trader by using the software. How the software actually is so important that can help you to make more money. So with this software right here, we teach you about 13 secret right here, how to become a pro, you know, in, in handling your charting software. And part number three, we'll teach you how to maximize your profit right here using TAD, including we teach you how to take the profit, stop loss, your daily routine, and how to use the TAD market screener. So again, right here, the feature, next features right here that we like to give you is the live customer support. If you feel like you need to have a one-on-one -on -one learning, we have our awesome technical support right here, Brother Azru, ready to support you via Skype. And this program for the next six months, you can ask any question. Live customer support is fantastic uh, service right here that we prepare. So this value alone, we give you a uh, 5,000 million kind of value for the next six months. So all these nine awesome features that you get inside TLD system, for six month package, we give you software, we give you the template, we give you the daily stocks alert, we give you Telegram support, live technical support, you can access to 30 learning videos, ebooks and e-notes, live trade session, and monthly webinar. All the value that we give you is actually worth more than 60,000 ringgit for the next six months. If you serious trader, you'd like to join this package right here, we'd like to offer you, you can join this package, no need to pay 60K, we know that the value that is actually a lot that we actually will give to you. But today you can subscribe with this program at a price of only 8,000 ringgit for the next six months. Now today, for those who are joining us right here on the live webinar, we have a very, very good news for you. For the next 48 hours, we have a special promotion for you. You can sign up this TAD system for the next 48 hours for the price of 5088 only, and you can save 2,968 ringgit and you can take this money to put back into your trading. So 48 hours from now, for those who are interested, you can get this package right here at the price of 5088. Now for the next 48 hours, so those who sign up, we have a special announcement for you. If you sign up this package for the next 48 hours, we will give you a special renewal fee, just in case the next six months you like to renew, you don't have to pay another 5,000 ringgit again. When you renew for the next six months, we allow you to renew with a special promotion. For the moment you sign up with TAD member, you only renew at the price of 2,311 ringgit only for the next six months. And yes, you can renew the whole nine features as well. Now, if you renew for the next 12 months, we give you even a special price right here. It's only 3,420 ringgit. Plus, for those who sign up, 
within these 48 hours, we have one more special bonus for you. Fred Thumb newsletter, something that you don't want to miss. This is one of the most readable newsletters right here for those who sign up today. You get this Fred Thumb newsletter access. Portal access for fredthumbnewsletter.com. This is the part right here. Mr. Fred will give all his write-up every single day with his 30 years experience with all the filtered scan, including the technical target, including what is the outlook, it can get this newsletter at the price of 2,500 ringgit for the next six months for free. Yes, you heard me, for free if you sign up the TAD package for the next 48 hours, okay? Now, for those who want to sign up, there's an installment package as well, it's waiting for you. Uh, those who have this card right here, you can, uh, you can swipe your card with installment plan Okay, so this is the amount of the price. So you can go for six month plan or 12 months for only 463 ringgit. For those who have a credit card stated right here on this picture, uh, you can sign up for the installment plan. For more info, you can call the number right here, 013262 and we put this number as well on the Facebook or later on for your info. Okay, now uh, right here, uh, 48 hours right here, you have the time right here until 13 April for those who sign up this package, 14, uh, 48 hours, you will get a special 5088, and right after that, we will return back to 8,000 ringgit price, 4080 system. Okay, right now, I am sure that some of you would like to get this theory system, but I know some of you also uh, might not that really know how to use the computer, so you probably would like to ask whether you just want a newsletter only, so tonight, we have a good news for you, okay? Uh, for those who want to sign up just for the newsletter right here, Okay, so uh, we have a special promo for those who sign up the newsletter. Uh, for your information, the newsletter is actually worth 2,500 for the next six months. For those who are listening tonight, we have a special promo for you. If you just only want the newsletter, you don't need the whole complete learning system. You just want the newsletter tonight. Mr. Fred, have a good news. For those who sign up tonight within 48 hours from now, we'll give you the newsletter for the price of 1,000 ringgit only for the next six months and 2,000 ringgit for the next 12 months. And special package for those who sign up for the 12 months with 2,000 ringgit, our Miss Amy will tell you what is special package that you have there on the 12 months, okay? Uh, this is for the next 48 hours for those who are listening to us tonight. So you want to get the newsletter right here. It's only 48 hours. Right after this, the price will go back to 2,500 for the next six months, okay? So for those who want to get uh, the newsletter and everything, the number that you need to call is 013-262-1218. Okay, once again, for those who are joining us tonight, uh, we would like to say thank you very much for joining us tonight right here in this program, Market Outlook and Stocks to Watch. We have a special gift for you tonight. We want to give you the ebook tonight for all the members right here and all participants joining us tonight. Ebook worth 49 ringgit 90 cent. Learn the three ideas on how to reap huge profit in stock market. We will send you this ebook directly to your email. So for those who want to get this ebook, all you need to do just save this number plus 013-262-1218. You can telegram or you can WhatsApp to Miss Amy by giving your full name, handphone number, and email. You must give these three details, and Miss Amy will give you the ebook. That worth 49 ringgit and 90 cent directly to your email today or within 48 hours. So, once again, right here, my friend, for those who are just joining us right here, on behalf of F1 Academy, Ted System, right here, we'd like to say thank you very much for joining our market outlook and stocks to watch. And for those who are traders right here, we wish you all the best. Mr. Fred, you have any last message for them for tonight? No, um, thank you very much, all of you, for uh, joining us tonight. Okay, and uh, we hope you really enjoy our session yep. as much as uh, we enjoy sharing it with you. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow is uh, expected to be another good day. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are trading, we wish you happy trading and wish you all the uh, success in your trading. So on behalf Thank of that team, my name is Ezen Constantine. And I'm Fred Tam. See you again. See you again. Please share this video and let's share all the good news about technical analysis. Goodbye and good night, guys.